Hello again, everyone. It's Vince Forer from TradingWinds.com, and this is our update for July 7th, 2019. Let's take a quick look at how the markets finished off on Friday. We did see equities closing mostly lower. This after a much stronger than expected jobs report first thing uh, out, out Friday morning. Uh, the number came in at 224,000 new jobs compared to the forecast of 165,000. And the reason why that's important and, and why stocks pulled back after that is because it cast out on uh, the expected rate cut by the Fed at the July meeting. Um, you know, we may still have a rate cut, but the thought is maybe only a quarter point compared to a half a point. But we'll see. There's another big event coming up this week that I'll get to in just a moment. At the end of the session, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was lower by 43 points, while the NASDAQ Oh, sorry, the S&P 500 was lower by 5 points. The Nasdaq was 100 down by 8 points. And the Russell 2000 did manage to gain, but only by 3.5 points. It was lower earlier in the session, but did bounce near the end of the day. The bond market dropped sharply as well. And the yield on the 10-year note uh, got a bump. It is now at 2.037%. Crude oil managed to gain 22 cents or 0.38 percent, while gold futures pulled back sharply here, losing $19.70 or 1.39 percent. This on strength in the U.S. dollar after that jobs report. There's that big, big spike. Now, as I mentioned, there is a big, uh, a big event coming up this week, um, and that is uh, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell is set to testify. Uh, before the House Financial Services Committee on Wednesday and at the Senate Banking Committee on Thursday. That's where he is expected to answer questions on the economy and Fed policy. So traders and investors will be paying close atta attention to his wording uh, to try to gauge, you know, on, on what to expect. Uh, do we expect uh, a rate cut? Do we, should we expect several rate cuts to come? Uh, I think we'll get a lot of those answers from his testimony this week. So, again, it happens Wednesday and Thursday. Um, be aware of that because uh, he does certainly have the potential to make or break this recent rally in the markets. That's about it for now. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you on our next update.